Hello and welcome to Running TCP Dump. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about what is TCP Dump and what is use of TCP Dump. And then I'm going to explain you that how you can use TCP Dump inside operating system. So what you can do here, basically you can start your VMware workstation and uh, you can use the Kali Linux operating system inside VMware so that we can learn how to use TCP Dump. So guys, now I'm inside my main operating system, Windows 10, and I've started my VMware workstation. And this is basically Kali Linux operating system. So we will learn that how to use TCP dump inside Kali Linux. But before that, we can learn about what is TCP dump and how we can use it and what are the various commands inside it. So let me open the browser and here it is. So this is the website tcpdump.org where you can get information about TCP dump. So what is TCP dump? TCP dump is used to dump traffic on a network the synopsis tcp dump and then the options what are the options available these are the options available here right you can simply provide the interface right you can save the output in a file these all options are available inside tcp dump now if you check the description here then tcp dump prints out a description of the contents of a packets on a network interface so for example if your network interface is ets0 or ets0 then it will provide you information about the packets which are working on the interface that match the boolean expression the description is preceded by a timestamp printed by default as hours minutes seconds fractions of a second it can also be run with the w dash w flag which causes it to save the packet data to a file so you can also save data inside another file using dash w flag right and other flags are available also like dash r flag which causes it to read from a, it can also read from a file using dash r dash r means read dash w means write from it it can also be run with the dash v flag which causes it to read a list of saved packet files right so this is a basic information about tcp dump that it is used to dump traffic inside the network and there are various options are available inside it which can be used and tcp dump is used inside linux operating system if you want to use tcp dump in windows then there is a windows version is available which is window dump so win dump is the windows version and tcp dump is linux version now go back to linux operating system and i'm going to show you that how you can use tcp dump inside linux so now guys i'm inside kali linux operating system and if you are a pen tester or if you want to test applications networks or websites then you can use kali linux operating system so to use tcp dump what you can do you can start the terminal on the left hand side you can click here and start the terminal here here it is right so you can type here tcp dump and you can take help and type dash h and hit enter so this is tcp dump version 4.9.2 lippy cap which is attached with tcp dump and these are the uses we have already seen on the website now how to capture first of all we need to choose the interface so let's list interface here so tcp dump space dash capital d hit enter and here you can see that these all are the interfaces running inside kali linux basically if you want to check then you can click file click on new tab and here you can type ifconfig to check the IP address and here you can see that this is the IP address and which is running on ETS0 right so this is ETS0 let me close it so this is basically up and running so the first one is ETS0 up and running this is running inside Linux as well as any pseudo device that captures on all interfaces this is also running now for example if I want to capture the packets on number one which is ETS0 so what I will do I will type here TCP dump space dash i i for interface and the serial number of interface the serial number is number one now you can type one and you can hit enter and here you can see that it has started capturing packets on interface number one basically it is similar to wireshark it will provide you the same information right if you want to stop control z to stop it and here you can see that this is information regarding packets the time is available here the source is available here destination is available here right length of packets is also available here so this is basic information that's how you can use tcp dump to gather information about these kind of packets 
In the next video, we are going to learn about dumpy cap.